Researchers say they've discovered the first known fully warm-blooded fish. It's called the opa, or moonfish, and it lives in cold environments deep below the ocean's surface. Scientists say the opa generates heat by constantly flapping its pectoral fins. It then uses fatty tissue to help trap the heat and special blood vessels to spread the warmth throughout its large, disc-like body. Fish, of course, are generally thought to be cold-blooded animals, so researchers say this gives the opa a competitive edge over some of its aquatic cousins in more frigid waters. And sure, the orange and silver fish might look pretty innocent, but researcher Nicholas Wegner of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says the opa is actually quite the aggressor. Before this discovery, I was under the impression this was a slow-moving fish, like most other fish in cold environments. But because it can warm its body, it turns out to be a very active predator that chases down agile prey like squid and can migrate long distances. Other fish, like tuna and some sharks, can also generate heat, but their bodies can only handle short periods in the cold before they have to retreat to warmer waters. The opa can keep its body warm for long periods of time, so it doesn't have to worry about that as much. But despite what seems like a pretty cool discovery, at least one scientist was skeptical, at least how it's labeled anyway. The study refers to the opa as a fish with whole body endothermy, or basically entirely warm-blooded. But an associate professor of biology at the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth is quoted in the Washington Post saying that's a bit misleading. He says the opa is warm for the most part, but it gets cold as you go back into the body or back into the tail or as you go up or down. So calling it a whole body warm-blooded fish might be a stretch. The findings from the opa study are published in the journal Science. For Newsy, I'm Jay Struberg.